guys it's simply cynthia and welcome back to another simply wonderful video as you guys can tell i'm in a completely different setup we are in the kitchen i decided that for me i know a lot of people see me and they're like she's a bigger girl so they automatically assume she can cook and the fact of the matter is i can't like when my family don't write things down they're very much so like visual people where they can like just kind of see it they taste it they go for me i need instructions i need measurements i need it written down step by step and i just don't get that um within i would say within my household i haven't really branched out with other family members but within my household i don't get it my sister she understands it there's a method to the madness she can follow like the visuals and just kind of watch my mom cook i'm not one of those people but with me making these lifestyle changes it is important for me to eat healthier and the only way that's going to happen is if i'm making my own foods and knowing what i'm putting in them so I decided I would check out Hello Fresh. I know that you guys have seen it. This is a meal prep, well, a meal prepared service where they pretty much give you everything that you need in order to make your meal, um, but you just have to put it together. So I just figured, why not try it out for myself? The cool part about this is that they not only show you what your meal is, they give you all of the ingredients that you need specifically for your serving size. Most of my serving sizes are all for two servings because it's me and my mom. And then on the back, they give you step-by-step -step instructions. So we'll see if I can make it through this process. So today we are going to be doing the uh, firecracker meatballs. So this is firecracker meatballs with roasted green beans and jasmine rice. So this is what everything looks like. Like mine is my phone here but we have our instructions they give us all of the items that we need we have our onions um ginger my green beans we have the ground beef and they literally give you all of the spices and everything that you need so let's hop into it all right so first thing first is the prep so it's saying for us to take both the ginger and the scallions and slice them up. So first we're going to, it says trim and thinly slice the scallions separating the white and green minus the whites. And then it says peel and minch ginger. So I understand thinly slicing, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure that out. But let's start with these first. All right, so I moved on to the ginger. I did peel it. However, I don't really understand how they want me to cut it. And I'm not gonna take out the time to really go too into it. Um, honestly, the picture, it looks right compared to the picture. So I'm just going to slice this up thinly. Like, taste the ginger. I'm gonna eat water that's gross not good I still don't know what we're doing with the ginger yet but right off the bat I'm not a fan the sauce going I'm actually gonna just put the rice in the pot at this moment so that way I can start mixing the sauce while this is cooking so it says to put it in a small pot combine the rice with one and a half cups of water and a pinch of salt so I have my pot here the rice that they give me here uh, 
that ginger was really gross y'all not a fan no. so it says a cup and a half of water so i have my brita because i'm weird about faucet water even though i know we're using heat so this is a this is one cup and then it says one one half so this is a half there we go get a pinch of salt see this is where you mess me up i'm just gonna put it in there that's where you mess me up because what is a pinch my fingers are smaller than other people's fingers so anywho okay water and a pinch of salt bring water to a boil then cover okay so it says bring water to a boil and then cover it for 15 so we're gonna leave that going and now i'm going to head into the okay sauce. so the next thing is the sauce while we have the rice on the stove so we have to combine the mayonnaise sour cream honey and two teaspoons of soy sauce and the sriracha and then it says you'll use the rest of the soy sauce later so i'm glad i read that because i totally would have added all of that in there but let's let's do that so let me put it in the order that they say so we have the mayonnaise we have the sriracha so the rice is currently simmering so I'm going to put my timer on for 15 minutes and I put the lid on the pot right now I'm gonna make up make some room here so I'm gonna get rid of like the garbage that I have So, I'm going to taste it. Mmm! It's actually really now good. Now, I'm going to go in and I'm going to preheat my oven. Um, um, I'm going to spray the pan with some non-stick spray that I have. And these are my little meatballs so now i'm gonna place these place these in here all right y'all so i write the instructions a little bit closer and i forgot to put the panko um breadcrumbs in the meatballs so when I still have the oven preheating, I'm just gonna, just gonna try to like round out these meatballs and add these in there. Slowly but surely, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so now it's time for um, putting everything in the oven, but before I do that, I want to kind of season the greens. I'm going to spray some more olive oil on top of them because i want them to have a nice kind of not crunch but i don't know what the i don't really know what the wording is for because i ain't never been in the cook kitchen um but i'm gonna put some just original seasoning on here i have some italian herb seasoning that i'm gonna put on it I want a little bit of spice, gonna put a little bit of paprika, just very little. 
uh, paprika on it. Um, and why can't I buy Italian seasoning? But uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of that onto it, and I'm just going to mix these up with my hands because I want to make sure it gets all over them. All right, so. I put the food in the oven, the rice is done, the sauce is done. So all we have to do is wait for the meatballs and we have to wait for the uh, green, uh, green beans. So let's hope it turned out well and I'll check right back in with you guys once these are up. All right, so we have our bowl, gonna, Get some rice. I must say the rice came out actually really good. It almost has that kind of sushi feel to it, which I like um, where it's a little bit wetter. I don't mind that. And then I'm gonna add my green beans to it on the side. And then I'm gonna add my Okay, so we have our sauce here. I'm gonna add it on the rice too. And then we're gonna add our green garnish on top of it. And this is what it looks like, guys. Now it's time for the taste test. All right, y'all, so moment of truth on my firecracker meatballs with roasted green beans and rice. So I'm just going to, well, first of all, let's get an up close on it. It looks really good. I'm going to grab a little bit of the meatball and I'm going to add some rice. Let's see. Okay. Get some green meat. You know it's good when you got a little dance to it. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on my first meal that I made with HelloFresh. <sighs> All right. So first thing, how does it taste? I think that this actually tastes really good. The only thing is I love a bunch of spice and I didn't really feel like the sriracha sauce was as spicy as I personally would have liked it. Not meaning that you need spice equivalent to um, seasoning because I think those are two different things but I think this might have needed just a little bit more of a kick for a name like firecracker meatballs but overall it, it was fine just the sauce um the rice i am a rice cooker gal so the fact that i put this on the stove and it didn't feel overly wet it didn't dry out it didn't burn um made me extremely happy because now i know a another option i guess you could say for cooking it if i don't have a slow cooker or a rice cooker when i move Second of all, the meatballs. Meatballs are banging. Again, probably would have added more seasoning to it. I definitely could see myself adding some more of the Italian herb to this. Um, and I honestly would have put like a slight bit of obe, not too much, but I definitely think that using a few of your own seasonings 
if you know what I mean, um, would kind of help spice it up. Um, green beans cooked perfectly and the combination together honestly is healthy, it tastes good, and I did it in a decent amount of time. Um, so I guess I would give this meal a, a three out of five and I think I would give it a four out of five if I use my own seasonings. Would I try HelloFresh again? Well, I got three more meals. <laughs> I have three more meals from this cycle. Today's only Monday. So I haven't made my mind up. So far, I will say that the fact that all this stuff was sent to me was definitely super duper convenient. Um, and then also the fact that I have the instructions as well will make it easier for me to attempt this again with my own seasonings um and you can honestly create like your own little at home cookbook which is what i plan to do with these because again it gives me step-by-step -step instructions and it gives me an ingredient list i could totally see myself bringing this with me if i went to the grocery store to make sure i had all the right items or i could just take a snapshot of it as well and still get the same thing so i'm going to finish enjoying my meal let me know down below how um you guys <laughs> kind of like this kind of content let me know if you've ever tried hellofresh before and what your experience was like um and until next time as always be brave be beautiful and always be you and lastly always try new things because i definitely didn't see myself cooking but i actually like this experience it's not my favorite experience but i did like it and i did enjoy my time with it so again as always, be brave, be beautiful, and try new things. And until next time, bye guys.